Hey there, are you learning object oriented programming and wondering what is a mutator method in Java? If that is your case, I have good news for you, you just landed in the right video. In this video, I will show you what the mutator method is in Java, and you will see that it's a lot simpler than you expected. We will also see what is an accessor method. And we will talk about the benefits of using mutator and accessor method. Here is how the video is going to be organized. First, we will talk briefly about object-oriented programming and encapsulation, since these concepts are closely related to the mutator method idea. Then we will see the definition of a mutator method and an accessor method. Then we will see some examples of how to add a mutator method. And lastly, we will see the benefits of adding mutator and accessor methods to a class. All right, without further ado, let's get started. As we mentioned, let's briefly remember object-oriented programming and encapsulation. Object-oriented programming is an approach to solve problems where you are representing the entities of the problem using classes. A class has a state, which is a set of variables with relevant information about the entity. And a class also has methods, which determine the operations the class is able to perform. For example, we could define the class circle, which is going to have a field called radius, which is going to be a float. And then we will have a constructor so we can create instance of the class circle. And also we are going to have a method area which will return the circle area. So the radius here is the state and the area method is one of the actions this class can perform. So what is encapsulation then? Encapsulation means that you hide the details about the implementation. So other classes that use the class circle don't need to understand how the circle class work to calculate the circle area. If I want to use the circle class, I just need to create a class and then call the area method. I don't need to know the formula to calculate the area. Those details are hidden. To understand this, you could think of a washing machine. A washing machine has a door, then you put your clothes inside, and then you press start. You don't need to know any details about how the washing machine controls the water, or about how the washing liquid gets to the clothes. All these details are hidden or encapsulated. This way is really easy for a person to use a washing machine. So, encapsulation is exactly that, hiding the implementation details. In other words, the code that is inside your class. All the other classes can see the public methods and fields. However, anything private is not available from outside of the class. It is hidden. Perfect, so now that the concepts of object-oriented programming and encapsulation are fresh in our memory, what is a mutator method? A mutator method is a method that allows you to update the state of the class. In other words, update the value of the fields inside the class which are private. Let's go back to our circle class example. In this class, the state has just one field, which is the radius, which is a private field. So once you have created a circle, you can call the method area, but you cannot access the radius field because it's private and you cannot modify it either. So let's say for instance that you would like to write a message that say circle with radius, then the radius value and area and then the area. As the code stands right now, you cannot do this because you cannot access the radius. So what can you do? You could add an accessor method. And that is simply a public method that will return the radius. So I will say public float get radius 
and then return the radius field. So that will be our accessor method. So this means that now we can access the class state from outside of the class. So we can now print out the, the message with the radius and the area. And if we run this, it's working fine. And the radius is there and also the area. However, what if we want to increase the radius by one, for instance? We don't have any method to update the radius now. However, we can add a mutator. Let's see how. I will do public void set radius. Then the argument will be float and then the new radius value. And then I will say this dot radius equal and the new radius. So that's all we need to do. So if I go back to the main, I can do circle dot set radius and send the radius value to 4 for instance. And then print the radius and the area again. So as I said, a mutator method is a public method in your class that allows you to change the class state. Let's see another example. Imagine that you have a class inventory and this class is going to contain the product names and the quantity. So I will add a private field which is going to be a map and then the key will be the product name so it's going to be type string and then the value is going to be the quantity which is going to be an integer. And we are going to assign new has map at the start. Perfect, so this is going to allow us to have a list like the one that you can see right here. So in this case, the product map will be our state. And I'm going to add also a method to print the inventory. So as the code stands right now, once you create the inventory instance, you cannot update the list because there is no mutator method to modify the state. So let's add one that allows us to add a product. So I will say public void and I will call it add product. And then the parameter is going to be the product name, which is going to be a stream. So inside of the method, I will do product get then the product name. And then if the product already exists in the map, then I will increase the quantity. Otherwise, I will add the product to the map with quantity 1. And now let's call the add product method. And I'm going to add tb as a product. And then I will print the inventory. And if we run this, there you go. As you can see, the new product was added. Because we use encapsulation, the outside classes don't need to know that the inventory is saved using a map. These implementation details are hidden. The add product method is a mutator method since it modifies the class state. Alright, so far we have seen what a mutator method is and what an accessor method is as well. So you might be asking yourself, what are the benefits of using these methods? The main benefit is that they allow us to better encapsulate the class, in other words, to hide the implementation details from another classes. This way, consumer classes can only interact with the class using the public methods. This leads to better designs where classes are decoupled, meaning if the internal implementation of a class is modified, the other objects are not impacted, which will make the maintenance of the code much easier over time. Classes can be modified with a small or no impact on the depending classes. Alright, we reach the end of this tutorial where you have learned what a mutator method is, 
how to create a meditator method and what are its benefits. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you in the next one.